Heading to work early in the morning. I'm hitting up the opera house. I have a feeling it's going to be a four hour call today, 10 to 2. Those are always nice little easy, simple shifts. Last night, Billy was being him t his, his typical self, you know, just biting and running and biting and running and biting and running and biting and running and biting and running when I'm trying to sleep. He probably had me up from 6 to 7 today. baby. Sweet destruction. And I'm done. Done work. That was a pretty awesome day. I did that one alone today. I really like doing that one alone because that kind of means like uh, my boss trusts me and uh, he trusts that I can pull it off and you know I can pull it off no problem. Uh, really good. Really glad that that's going on for me. I have yet to hear from Amanda today. I sent her a text this morning, so I guess I will give her a call on the phone. It's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so she better not be fucking sleeping. Know what I'm saying? message after the fucking tone. Since Amanda is MIA right now, missing in action, I guess I'm just gonna head on home and see Billy, give him some lunch, say hello, uh, tell him I'm sorry for yelling at him last night, cause I yelled at him, and cause he's not fucking stopping, and he actually kinda hurt me a little bit, and then he yell I yelled at him, and then he scampered away and hid him behind my guitar case like... And then I, I started passing out because he was finally leaving me alone. And then he he came and he snuggled up against me, you know, kind of licked my face like, Hey, don't be mad at me, Daddy. Don't be mad. And I was like, I'm not mad. Just leave me the fuck alone every now and then. Hi, sweetie. I guess the plans changed then. I'm going to be uh, heading uh, to man as a pick her up, bring her into town. Uh-huh. Where are we again? Or you said you weren't going to be. Doing it. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. Right there. <laughs> my doctor was like last time I went to see him he was like still drinking those energy drinks I was like yep stop drinking those Max and then like you're drinking a coffee and he was like moving on come on it's just like a coffee except like a pop full of sugar and caffeine <laughs> and then you can't remember what fucking key it is. I guess you left me a message while you while I was in the shower or something. You have one new message and one old message. Wednesday, 4, 9 p.m. No, I don't want to leave a message after the fucking tone. End of new messages. Are they funny? Yep. Not really. Uh, Max came to get me, as you already know, as you already saw. 
I just got out of the shower pretty much and he he called while I was in the shower but he rushed right out here and I still had the towel on my head. I'm hungry and he's hungry too so we're gonna go find some food like usual. That's what we usually do. Yeah, hey, that's what usually what people do when they're hungry. No, when he, <laughs> I'm saying when he comes and gets me we usually go for food first and then blah 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 blah. blah. Bullshit. Didn't get any yet today, so he's gonna get some now. Outside time for Billy. Supervised outside time. Minnie? Just Billy, Minnie. <laughs> hey, Pester. Come trotting along. Hey, Pester, you come say hi to me? Pester's loud under the gate, but he's not. Seems like every time I'm having uptime, Billy's having downtime, and then when it's time for me to have downtime, Billy's having uptime. His uptime's a little different than ours, though. He's up and down and up and down all day, eh, Billy? You shouldn't let him sleep. It's hard. Like, I try to wake him up, then wake it's up, like, oh, I'm not up, asleep. Wake <laughs> up, wake up. <laughs> Like whatever. <laughs> We're watching Destination Truth, and I actually kind of like this show because it's always like all these crazy creatures, like Loch Ness monster and like crazy dinosaur sightings and shit like that. And he goes there to like talk to these people. They're like, "Oh yeah, I saw it." And he goes there like, "Yeah, it's not fucking real, and you're dumb." What are you sleeping like that for, Billy? Billy. Once again, I'm outside dark barbecuing. Does anybody else barbecue in the dark like this? Like, I need some floodlights or something out here, because just the, the flashlight thing is just kind of whack, and I have to, like, put it in my teeth and fucking, I just gotta go barbecue. No. Is it done? Yes. Good. Of course, after I go through all the trouble to make all the dinner, and we have it, Amanda takes like a bite of her ribs and just goes like... I had like four <laughs> bites. Oh, four bites. You had four bites, Billy. Sorry, I've never tried those before and I didn't like them, so how about we just listen to Max and say, don't stray. Yeah. On anything. You never stray from anything that you usually do. You don't ever stray from what you get at McDonald's. You don't ever stray from what you get at the liquor store. Straying away from your usual just ends up being bad news. Another one. Beaten. I know. Again, I it, beat the freaking game. It lasted quite a while, though. The saboteur. <laughs> he runs by like... Can you hear him? He's like... 